Hey everybody, um, this is a quick video in case you have a, a Whirlpool brand refrigerator and it's giving you an E4 error and you're wondering what's going on um, and what do you need to get rid of this error. So the reason you're getting this error is that this is a fridge, uh, the defrost sensor fault on the fridge. So, um, you know, to, in order to avoid frost buildup, it has temperature sensors and frost sensors and um, there's something going wrong there. And this might be happening, as you know, you probably know, is that all the cooling in a refrigerator comes from the freezer. The freezer gets cold and then based on the cooling needs of the refrigerator, uh, it's circulated to the refrigerator. Um, so there could be a couple different things going wrong here. Um, you could have a failure of circulation between the freezer and the refrigerator causing this error. Um, so you want to check and make sure you know you don't have anything too jammed in the in the freezer that's blocking the airflow or or in the refrigerator. Um, you know, in some instances you might have just like put something hot in the refrigerator or left the door open too long, and it, it's kind of geeking out the sensors. Um, but and another thing that can happen is. Uh, that you know not actually in the freezer or in the refrigerator but in the spaces between in the walls uh, condensation can build up and then freeze and that frozen condensation can then make things not function properly um, and the only real way to get rid of that is to do just a full defrost it's annoying to do but you just got to take everything out uh, and unplug your refrigerator and let it fully warm up for like a day um, so to make sure all that condensation can melt uh, within the walls and everything. Um, so anyways, hope this video helped you figure out what's going on. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.